Okay, everybody, it's Last Raider. We're back with some Star Wars. Uh, talking about the High Republic and an SJW trope that they are pulling, which is going to make this bomb like crazy. But before we do, be sure to check and see if your, notif if, if your notifications are on and you're subscribed to the channel. I've noticed that YouTube apparently is unsubscribing people from the channel, which sucks. I was hoping that they wouldn't do this until much later, but apparently they're getting... They're wanting to control people's content much more earlier now than uh, they were when I first started my channel. So be sure to check. Make sure you're subscribed. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications because I put these videos out a lot and I know a lot of people that if you're here because you liked the content, I'm putting more of this content out. So just be sure to check it out. Anyway, on to the Star Wars Oh boy. So some people were talking about, you know, the redefining of the force and everything and what they're doing with this. They're going to, I guess, try to redefine it and they want to make it to where people can understand it, make themselves look smarter. This is actually a trope that happens with SJWs. Now, when it comes to established characters in any medium, you have two ways, two directions an SJW will attempt to go. The first one is to completely PC the character or make them more, uh, you know, politically correct for this current era. Make them more current era, I guess, or, or make them more of the current year. <clears throat> what happens there is that they will go in, say you have a character like Captain America. If they can... They will try to make Captain America black. They'll try to make him a woman. And they'll make her... They'll basically make her a black, female, transsexual character who has lesbian tendencies and, and acts like a white... And is acts like a white guy and whatever else. Whatever little LGBT crap thing that goes on. And I'm not talking about the actual community. I'm talking about their version of the community. They'll completely change the character up, make them black, race swap them, all this other nonsense. Now, like I said, they will do that if they think they can get away with it. Now, when I mean get away with it, I mean if they think they can race swap an existing character, if they or if it's old enough, they think they can race swap it. Do all the race swapping, gender swapping, all that nonsense. If they can't, what they will do, the next move is they will diminish the established character. And in short, they did this with Luke Skywalker. Well, we can't make Luke Skywalker a woman. You can't make him gay. So what do they do? They diminish him. They make Luke Skywalker from this hopeful guy who would never give up on anything, who sat back there and, and fought for his father to bring him back to the side, to the light, to, to save his father from the dark side and did not give up on him even when force ghosts in, in every single... Everyone believed that Luke Sky that Vader would bring Luke Skywalker to the point of ha needing having to kill him out of necessity, not because he wanted to. That he still ends up saving Darth Vader to a character that is lonely, drinking, rotten, green-looking, alien breast milk who's cynical, who's angry all the time, and apparently ultimately just dies in the, when he comes out and does a... He's not got the balls to go out there and face someone. He does it from halfway across the universe like an idiot. Uh, they diminish him down so that they can take Ray, who is the SJW character, and they can exalt the SJW. Look, look how weak Luke has become now compared to Ray. Ray is so much more powerful. Ray's learning the Force in seconds. Ray doesn't have to work for it. Ray, Ray is a freaking Mary Sue. Who does it? I mean, Mary Sue, Mary Sue. Oh, what can Mary Sue not do? Well, Mary Sue can do anything. There's nothing Mary Sue cannot do. Um, <clears throat> that's what they will... They do this because they want to take your established character that you think is really good, and they want their character to be exalted above it. So they can't PCI's... They can't PC Luke Skywalker, 
So they must diminish Luke Skywalker to exalt their own character. This is something that they do. And apparently they're doing this over at Disney right now with Obi-Wan and Yoda. So Obi-Wan fans, get ready. Because they're coming for Obi-Wan next. No one, not, none of the Star Wars characters are safe now. Uh, basically in this it says the High Republic is about to completely redefine the Force. Revealing the limits of Obi-Wan and Yoda's perspective. Meaning that... It, Yoda and Obi-Wan's perspectives were not limited because of Palpatine using the dark side to blind them. They were limited because they were not strong enough Force users. And our new High Republic SJW Force users are going to be better than Yoda. They will be better than Obi-Wan. And at some point, they're going to prove that they are better than Anakin. In other words, we must make Yoda and Obi-Wan look like they didn't know what they were doing by giving these characters greater understanding and greater efficiency in the Force and a greater ability to see with the Force, which is going to cause a whole lot of problems because part of the whole Clone Wars saga that made it interesting was that Obi-Wan and them could not see what Palpatine was doing because Palpatine was screwing him up, that lack of perspective. This is going to completely destroy a lot of the stuff. It, it's going to flip the Clone Wars on its head for a few for a bit and probably retcon most of the Clone Wars. And this is a horrible thing to have done, especially after they just wrapped up the Clone Wars spectacularly from what I understand. Um, I let everyone love the final recap of the Clone Wars. They liked the ending of it, how how the in, how the Clone Wars ended, and Anakin with with what happened with Ahsoka and everything else, and Rex. They tied everything up in with Rebels, and it, it looked they tied it in just perfectly. Now you have these idiots going in there, and they want to completely diminish and basically just shatter. All the canon that's going in. Remind you, this is also coming from the same group of people who had one, I believe it was either one of their lead directors or lead writers who said, oh, Star Wars is all fake anyway. At the end of the day, they don't really care about your fandom. They don't care about the entertainment that you've grown up with, something or your hobby that you enjoy. All SJWs care about is if they can destroy it. And they destroy and they propagandize by destroying your stuff. And when they destroy it, they ultimately come down to, oh, well, you know, it's just fake anyway. It's just plastic figurines. It's just space wizards with laser swords. It's just space. It's just space exploration. That's all Star Trek is. It's just people going through a giant gate. That's what, Star gate, that's what Stargate is. They're just, this is what they will do. Over time, they bring it to a point where it, when it's when it's all said and done, then they will just give up on it and walk away. They don't care. Uh, but like I said, this is how they're going to exalt the new Star Wars High Republic. Get ready because you think you, what you what you saw happen to Luke Skywalker, they are now going to do to Yoda and Obi Wan. Obi Yoda and Obi Wan are get the, are going to get the Ray treatment. Okay, that's what they're going to get. They're going to get the Ray treatment. So have fun, Phantom Menace. <laughs> this is. The, the nightmare continues. Anyway, folks, I'm The Last Raider. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit that bell for notification. And as always, stay safe, stay frosty. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now.